Okay, lesson 4.2 is actually one of the simplest we have. There's only one real new idea. And it starts off with this. Now here's an old idea. If I have a line, the angles that come out of that line, they're all going to add up to 180 degrees. That's an old idea. But the new idea is that within a triangle, if you add all the angles, it will add up to 180 degrees as well, the same as it adds up for a line. We can use this to solve lots of different problems. Now, in this triangle, this angle is 58 degrees. You may not be able to read it because of the glare, but that says 87 degrees. And this is angle 2. So if I want to discover what angle 2 is, I have to find out how, what this needs to be to make it add up to 180. So let me take 87 plus 58. The other two angles I do know, 87 plus 58 is 145. That's what these two angles add up to. And so now all I need to do is to subtract that from 180. 180 minus 45, 145, which gives me 35. And so angle 2 has to be equal to 35 degrees. Because now the triangle, the angles in the triangle all add up to 180. Well, likewise, angle 1 and angle 2, they have to add to 180 because this is a line. So if that's 35, and it took 145 plus 35 to make 180, and this is 180, that means angle 1 has to be 145. Because 145 plus 35 is 180. Well, that means that angle 1 is the same as these two angles put together. Because once again, these two angles plus angle 2 is 180. Angle 1 by itself plus angle 2 is 180. So they both add to angle 2. So this means that this angle is always going to equal the sum of the other two. This is called the exterior angle. There are three exterior angles on a triangle. There are three vertices, which is plural for vertex, where it comes to a point. One vertex, two vertices, three vertices. This is called the exterior angle. It's outside the triangle. This would be the interior. The exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior. So not including the one next to it. The other two, if I add them together, that always equals this exterior angle, okay? So we're going to use these ideas. The idea that the exterior angles equals the sum of the two opposite interiors and the fact that a triangle, add the angles in a triangle add up to 180 and the angles on a line add up to 180 to solve lots of angle problems. So here's a typical example. Here I have angle 1 and angle 2. They're going to ask me, find the measures of angle 1 and angle 2. So let's just start working around. First of all, this is 130, and that's a line. So I should be able to find angle 2 by knowing that this plus two, angle 2 equals 180 because it's a line. So 130 plus 50 equals angle 2. So angle 2 is 50. Now, I could find out what this angle is because all these are going to add up to 180, but it doesn't ask for that. So we're not going to do that right now. Well, now if I use some other ideas, I have some vertical angles. Angle 2 and this angle here are vertical. And same with 130 and that angle, they're vertical. But since this one's in the triangle, I'm going to be concerned with that. So if this is 50, that means this is 50. Vertical angles are congruent. And now I have a triangle here, and I have an exterior angle. This exterior angle is 1. And remember, the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior, which I have already. I have these already. So all I need to do is add these. 68 plus 50 is 118. So there we go. Angle 2 is 50 because the angles in a line add up to 180. And angle 1 is 118 because it's exterior. It sums up to the opposite two interior angles. And these three ideas, the line adds up to 180, 
the triangle adds it up to 180, and the exterior angle of the triangle equals the sum of the two opposite interiors. Those three ideas are what we're going to use to solve every problem in section 4.2. That's it. We're done.